What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Video two of the Ultimate Adventure OBS series. Super excited to bring another video of this build to you guys. I know I've already had a lot of comments on the last video asking where video two is. Here it is. Um, sorry it's taken me a couple weeks to get to it. I think that's actually pretty good considering everything that I've done. Yeah, buddy. It's real now. Yeah, it's a real project. Woo! Bronco. If you look behind me, there's Dusty, totally stripped. It is no frame. The transmission's there on a the stand. The motor's there on the floor. And let me let me back up a little bit, right? Well, we are on episode two of the Ultimate Adventure OBS build, and uh, I had to call in the Calvary. I got I got Eric in the shop with me today because. Today we're adding into the series something that I originally wasn't planning to do just yet. Uh, we're going to pull the frame today on Dusty. That's right. I just got to thinking if I was going to be installing a whole bunch of really pretty badass desolate parts, I didn't want to bolt it to a 30 year old rusty frame. So pull the frame, totally strip it down. I'm going to have it sandblasted, repowder coated, and then we're going to put the frame back under the truck and then we'll start hanging suspension underneath this thing. But this video, like I said, it's just going to be a separating the frame from body on a 1994 Ford Bronco. So stick around, it's gonna be a fun video. Hopefully you're enjoying the series of us tinkering on Dusty. This is gonna be an epic project. Uh, like I said, frame today, lots of stuff coming for this truck. Stick around, this build is gonna be uh, a lot of fun. So, all right, let's, let's start tearing this thing apart. Come up with it. Yeah. You ready to go? Yeah. Why is this so cool every time we do this? <laughs> Start building vehicles. <laughs> All right, guys. So as you can tell, obviously, uh, body dusty is off of the frame. So take a little peek here at the stock 5.8 on this thing. You can see I did headers on it a while back. Uh, yeah, as you can see the frame, it's just, you know, it's, it's, it's actually in really good shape. It's just some surface rust, but um, it's, in, it's in need of some some love, so we're gonna go ahead and roll the chassis out, get it out of the way, and then um, get this a little bit more secure because it's a little ass heavy right now. And then, um, yeah, start, we'll start stripping the frame down and get it ready to send it to power coat this week and get it back and we'll slap it all back together. But uh, yeah, we, uh, we did it, ish. We're getting there. Yeah. So, this wasn't really part of my original build plan for this truck to be this in depth. However, I got to thinking about it after I did the first video and you know, there is a huge investment in parts uh, going under this truck, you know, from in collaboration with Desolate and uh, shout out to those guys for being so helpful with this process. But I just, I couldn't stand to bring myself to bolt all of these new components underneath this truck that was 30 years old. My intentions for this truck are to have it for a very, very long time. I'm building it to 100% be an adventure and camping platform to take my new daughter, um, the time you see this video, actually, she might be born tomorrow. <laughs> so anyway, to take my daughter and my wife camping, so I plan on having this truck for a very, very long time and I want it to be reliable and dependable and in doing that, I just decided, let's just go all the way with it. Woo! Bronco. Let's start stripping this thing down and we'll kind of just show you a time lapse of that process. We're gonna get the frame down to bare metal uh, without nothing bolted to it. 
load it up on the trailer, and then I will haul it to the powder coater tomorrow. We're gonna separate transmission and transfer case as one unit, and then I'm gonna send the engine out to have it refreshed. I'm starting to disassemble the frame uh, and I just found a hidden treasure that I did not know existed. I look down and I see this black box and uh, I just grabbed it, knocked off some of the dirt. Check it out. I just found a hidden spare key, which is cool because this is definitely a very 90s thing to do. Dirt coming out of there. Sick. Look at that. Found spare keys. That is so cool. <laughs> These aren't the original keys. They're definitely copies. But nonetheless, it's still cool to be back here and find this. I mean, this has been closed for no telling how many years. A little dirt that came out of that. Freaking cool. And I want to keep it that way, right? So the frame, I pulled it out and stripped everything off of the frame, obviously. It took all the body brackets off, the frame brackets, the suspension hangers, uh, everything. All right, now it's time for the cleanup process. So got the rear end out here. Obviously, I'm not going to be reusing these leaf spring shocks, uh, but the axle housing will go back in the truck temporarily for the next four or five months. So I'm going to go ahead and just I hit this with some purple degreaser, let it sit. I'm gonna uh, pressure wash it really, really good. Same thing, all these fuel lines, brake lines, uh, you know, I just soaked them with purple degreaser, you know, the ABS there, and I'm just gonna get all the gunk out of there. Try to bring these lines back to, you know, a just a little nicer looking condition. 
nothing's wrong with them. They're just 30 years of just soot and crap all over them. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and pressure wash them up. Same thing with that. Again, because I have everything out of the frame, I figured let's go ahead and rebuild the motor while we're at it. So I ordered a set of Edelbrock heads, Edelbrock manifold, a BBK throttle body. There's the motor back there, totally stripped out. I pulled it out today, got it all stripped apart. All of this will go back into the frame. I will hang the frame back under the truck and then pick right back up where I left off. Uh, again, none of this was required to do any of the desolate components. This is just me going above and beyond the extra, extra, extra mile to make this a really epic build. That way it's better for you guys. Uh, and it's just, for me, I feel better that no bolt is left unturned and I will have a long-term reliable truck. So while I have you guys here, I uh, just kind of show you, you know, Dusty here on the lift without the frame underneath it. Like I said, this is a super clean truck to start with. Um, you know, I will clean up the firewall there and you know can I get all put back together but uh, probably put a new radiator I might do electric fans too while I'm you know this far apart uh, here's all the stock front suspension the only thing I will really be using on this is just the axles and the knuckles and that's basically it. everything else is going to be replaced um, same thing here's the back of the body yeah so super clean truck but uh, here's the rear end. I just basically degreased it, scuffed it up, shot it with some spray paint. Um, this axle will still live underneath this truck for a few months. The plan uh, over here, and I'll show you my build schedule, which is going to be a little bit off now because I did the frame. Video 9, actually it'll be video 10 in December. Uh, a real curry will go in the back of it, a full drop-in spec curry from Desolate. Um, to bolt right in the back of the truck. So I'll run that until December. I'm really excited about this truck. My very first truck ever was an OBS 92 F-150 pickup. And uh, so this, the OBS platforms just hold a really special place for me. I met my wife in that truck. Uh, and like I said, this truck means a whole lot to me. My wife and I had a really fun time when we went and bought it. We flew to California, drove it all the way back. And uh, it just, it's really special to me. So and I'm really excited to do this build. And then even more excited to share where I take it and the adventures that I go with it and the memories that I make with it. It's just gonna be a lot of fun 
you know, showing and documenting and sharing this truck with you guys. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you liked the video, please like the video. If you have any questions about what I'm doing, uh, ideas, whatever, just drop them down below. Shoot me a comment. I love reading that stuff. I love getting inspiration and ideas from you guys. And uh, I would really appreciate it if you stuck around. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Let's, uh, let's have some fun together and uh, let's build some more cool stuff. So thank you so much for the support. We'll see you in the next one.